Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And we're now on the 1st of December. So I'm coming to the end of doing my Christmas cards and we're going to work on some other projects and things. But just before we finish, I just wanted to do one using the curvy dies. I absolutely adore these dies. And a little tip for putting the curvy dies in to make a card. We made a card yesterday, which was a fun fold, and we folded the piece back. And today what I've done is just take a standard card base again, and you're going to put your die in this way to get your lovely little curve coming in so that you can see some of the paper underneath. Now, if you want to have your car, um, your DSP, your pattern paper, to have exactly the same curve, what you can do is, and what I did with this, is if you put them both together at exactly the same point, so they would be flat, you then run that through and cut them both out at the same time. It means that when you slide this bit back, the curve is going to be exactly the same on both ways. And that's exactly what we wanted. So I have taken the curve out and I've taken this one as well. And I'm using the beautiful Feels Like Frost Papers. I showed you some of them yesterday. They were so popular last year that they've been continued for this year. So they came back again. And if you haven't got them, you really don't need to have them for Christmas time. They will work throughout the year. So let me just show you some of the ones we've got. They're lovely, beautiful, wintry scenes. So you've got um, on one side, I'm just going to show you a few of them. So we've got this one we used yesterday. We've got these beautiful ones. So you just have the little bit of frost coming through on the leaves on here. You've got um, this beautiful one that we used today. So you've got that sort of really sunrising coming through with the snow and the little flakes and things on. As I say, I, I absolutely love these because they are photographs. They're just beautiful. You know, this again, you don't need to use it for Christmas time. You really don't. Any sort of wintry card that you want to put in. Um, you've got these again, you know, beautiful sort of early spring when we still have the frosts coming out. Um, and again, you know, the start of, of the little buds and things coming through on the trees and just a little bit of frost on there. They're beautiful. And then on the other side, you have just silver. So, you know, silver will go at any time of the year. They really aren't particularly Christmassy. Um, we've got some new sets coming out in the spring. And, you know, again, this would actually work very well with some of those. So it's a pack that if you haven't got yet, I really suggest that you um, go across. There will be a link down so that you can get it and, you know, treat yourself to one because they are just beautiful. So back to the card. We are going to put this piece in. So basically... I cut this for me at three and a half inches and then, as I say, just took the piece out and it works absolutely perfectly. And then from the same piece, exactly in the same area, I've cut a one inch piece to go inside. So you then are going to just have this lovely piece showing through. So let's, uh, um, let's get to gluing some of this down. I'm going to open it up this way because it makes it easier. And I'm sorry if um, the silver is going to shine a bit because it's, um, it is quite bright. So I'm hoping it's not glaring too much on the, um, on the screen. But we just need to put this piece in like this. I'm using wet glue. As you know, it's my favourite. And then I just put a little run of it along the top here to just hold that piece down. And particularly on the little bits at the side because where they're cut out they can be quite small so we're going to put this in and I'm going to turn it this way because then it'll be easier for me 
to see exactly where I want it to go. So I want that much of a border down on there, little piece at the top, little piece at the bottom, and then that can be smoothed down so that it comes in beautifully. And then you've got that lovely, beautiful pattern coming through. And then this little one inch piece, we're just going to put that in on the inside. So it's a sort of a fun fold, but without a fun fold because it's die cut. But when I was doing the fold back one yesterday, it just made me think and I thought, oh, I bet I can do something with that curvy die. So again, I'm just going to open it and put it in this way. Just with a tiny little border in. Don't want too much of a border in like that and just put that down so then when we close it up you've got the pattern running through and it runs perfectly in there so all we really need to do now is just fold that down so it lies nice and flat is to put a sentiment in and again I have got some this is retired it's from last year we have got different coloured glimmer paper, but I've always liked the uh, the silver glimmer paper. So I've cut these from the um, the stitched one of the stitch shaped ones. Um, I will put a link for it down below, and I've just cut the two sizes. I love the um, the different sort of stitched shapes that we've got and this one in particular is rather nice so I've just put some die cuts in on here or sorry some dimensionals but they're just the little end pieces and I'm just going to put this down in the bottom now it's going to come so I want it to come exactly in to touch that piece and then just in on there and then this one again has got the dimensionals on because I just want the height on it. So we can put this one in on here and just put that in so that it comes in on the centre. Like that. Um, and I stamped it in the Blushing Bride and I took the, so it's the Blushing Bride ink that I just stamped it in and from the gift wrapped, a very Merry Christmas because that fitted, even though the little tail comes off, it still looks quite nice on there. So just to finish this off, I have still got some of these ones from the um, Cherish the Season, the... What is it called? It's the it's the Cherish the Season bundle, but it's the dies. And these are just so beautiful because they're real just little spriggy ones. And I'm going to put them in just underneath. So um, we used glue dots and I think the glue dots will work. So I've just done three in the silver because I think that that will just, a little bit at the top, will just add a little bit of something on them so um, they're going to be on here so I'm just going to tuck take a little glue dot and just pick them up with that and then we can have one that's going to go we'll start it from this way and I want to have them tucked in and just going across at that sort of angle now I'm not sticking them down completely yet till I've got all three on because if I need to adjust them, I can do. So I'm just literally tucking the next one in. I might tuck it in underneath actually, I think. So that one can come in like that. Maybe tuck one in there. I might even just have the two just coming in along the top or do I want them out a little bit I think I want them out a bit more let's just tuck these out just a tad so we want one like that one like that so it just comes up over the top 
coming into that snow and then we'll have the third one just tucking out at the bottom so I say glue dots are great things to use for this sort of stuff so just pull it out and then we can tuck the last one in just in on there like that so we've then just got this coming in at the top I'm not having it down at the bottom because we don't want the things coming down at the bottom we just want them just tucked in over on the top like that and then again just to finish it off I thought just a couple of let me find my box with my here it is over here so I have my little box full of twinklies and what I want to do is to just add a couple of and they're going to be small ones to just pick up the the sparkle bit I'm going to use it just get my take your pick tool and we're going to use some small ones and we're just going to put a couple of these just up in the top on here so we'll have one just in between on the trees just up in on there Oops. the last one up and the last one is going to come down oh come on just in, in on this one I think just there maybe just in the middle no there or up there there I think there we are. So you want our little sort of triangle on there. So that has created this beautiful, lovely shape on here. So when you stand it up, you have, which you can't see at the angle, but when it does stand up, you've got that lovely piece here just looking in onto the piece on the inside. So it becomes a full card, but you've got those lovely curves in on there. So another idea, tomorrow is the second, um, so we will be doing something different for the second, so please come back and see me again for that, and as always, thank you so much for all your lovely comments and for watching me. As always, stay safe, stay well, and be kind. Bye-bye. <laughs>